This is epic, check this out. Oh. What is going on doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to paradise. Look where we are, look where I just woke up man. All right, so I am super excited about today. What we got, we got the troopy in the background over here. We've got the tinny sitting in the water. She's just sitting pretty, waiting, getting an absolute flogging today. And uh, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make another coffee. I'm gonna come down here on my own private little shelf and just have one hell of a feed of oysters for breakfast. Look at all of these oysters. And they're right here on my back doorstep. That's where I woke up right there. So once we get the morning feed and coffee out of the way, the aim of the game, the aim of the game today is to get the biggest fish possible in that tiny little boat down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch out as wide as possible and we're gonna see the biggest Goliath horse fish we can catch in that little baby boat just over there. But before we do anything, we've got another coffee on the boil. We'll go fill ourselves up on oysters and um, get out in that tinny and it is gonna be one hell of a day. Ah. I've already been here for five minutes and I've cut my feet up. Have a go at this. If this isn't the breakfast of champions, I don't know what is. We're sitting on a shelf full of oysters. I've got a fresh coffee. And um, this is the way every day should be started. Have a look at this. Juicy, juicy, fresh oyster for breakfast. Oh. You either love them or you hate them. And I absolutely bloody love them. Look at this. Doesn't come much fresher than that, doggies. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Mm. Tell you what, mate, that is definitely one way to start a day. All right, I'm gonna run up here. I'm gonna go get a surprise guest. We're gonna go out in that little boat out there and um, we're gonna go see if we can get the biggest fish possible. One thing that's a little bit shitty is the wind. It is bloody windy right now. It's not supposed to be windy, so we are gonna get thrown around on that little boat. Let's go get the surprise guest. Where is she? Here she is. This is Mucky from the Mucky and Matt YouTube yeah. channel, AKA Mac 10. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, it's gonna be windy. Let's go, girl. We're gonna get an absolute flogging out <laughs> in that little tinny, but let's get it done. Yeah! Oh. Well, it is safe to say that the weather gods are not playing in our favor right now. It is not supposed to be windy. It is not supposed to be cloudy, but look, we're just gonna stick it out, stay positive, and we're just gonna go with the flow. So it is pretty bloody windy right now, Mac 10. She's up the front, she's got a raincoat on. She's already getting a little bit sprayed there. We're only on a tiny little tinny, so it's pretty, it's gonna get rough when we go out the back there, but we're trolling one lure now, and um, all we can do is see what happens. The aim of the game was originally to go out to about 30 meters of water, 40 meters of water, but it may not be safe in this little boat. So we'll just play it by ear, see how we go, but we should get a couple of slobs on the deck if everything goes to plan. All we can do is hope and pray. Let's get it, Mac 10. We're gonna get it done. We'll get it done. Come on. It's gotta happen. All right, we've got a possible fish attack right now. That didn't last long at all, did it, Mac 10? Oh. It's not big. We've been out here for about 15 minutes, heading towards the deep water, and that lure just got smoked, but it's not a big fish. Just gotta get away from the sharks. We've seen so many sharks this morning. Come on, big dog, what are ya? Ooh, little 
Thank him, Cod. This is a good way to start the day. That is a Rankin Cod. Beautiful eating fish. We're gonna let him go, it's early in the day. But they're a beautiful eating fish. All right, so look at this thing. That is called a Rankin Cod. It's one, it is actually a really, really bloody good eating fish. And he smashed that lure. So that lure dives down to about six meters. So he's obviously come up and nailed that. But beautiful eating fish. We're gonna let him go because it's really early in the day. We should get a couple of big dogs, but that is an incredible eating fish. Rankin Cod. Mwah. See you, mate. We'll see you next time. Tell your dad I'm coming for him. Ow. Yeah, off he goes. All right, let's go get his grandfather. All right, we've just seen a couple of fish on the sounder on the bottom, so we're just going to drop down a jig. See if we can pull one off. There it is. Just found the fish on the sounder. Oh no, big shark, big shark. Come here, babe, look at this. No, 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 no. Get away. Have a go at that shark. He's coming in hot for this snapper. Look at that. Have a look at him. Big dog's hungry, aren't you? <laughs> it's all happening. That's a big shark. He's coming up, eh? Yeah, he's alright. He's not going to come in the boat. That's, that's nearly as big as half. That's just about as big as his tinny. He wanted to come and have a feed. Look at him. Big bronzy. Thought he was going to get the snapper, didn't he? Well, we've been out here for about 20 minutes now. This is the second fish on the deck. That is a beautiful little pink snapper. Look at the colours in him, those beautiful blue spots on his back. Such a pretty fish. But these have to be 500, these have to be half a metre to keep here in, in um, Shark Bay where we are. So this guy's going to go back, quickly get him back away before the shark comes, eh? See ya, mate. Go. Get out of there before that shark comes. Off he goes. Alright, so we've just picked up that little pink snapper on this jig. These jigs are dynamite out here. I've been using these for quite a while now and um, look, I've been catching all kinds of fish on these jigs. They're incredible. I'll show you guys a little bit more about them. Let's drop it down. Let's see if we can get one more. Let's see if we can get a big one. There's still a couple of fish on that sounder right now. All right, ready? Let's see if we can pull one straight up on the drop. Come on. Oh, this is crazy! Oh, we just had three big ass sharks just circling the boat, like drop that jig back down and there was just sharks everywhere. So we're gonna keep moving and um, hopefully the sharks don't follow us. But usually what these sharks do, they'll just follow the boat for the whole day. Um, got another lure trolling, probably gonna pick up a shark, but let's see how we go. That was a big boy. That shark was just about as big as this little boat that we're sitting in right now. So, wouldn't wanna fall in here. Anyway, this is what it's all about. Hopefully we can pick something up on the troll. If not, we'll go upgrade that snapper to a big dog. Woo! Spooky, spooky waters. Oh, Mac-10, Mac-10. What are they? Maybe a little tuna. It's gonna slog a soft plastic in the middle of them. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, got one. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Ah! Ah! Oh, what is this? No, that's bigger than a little tuna. What is it? Oh, that's way bigger than a tuna. Oh no, what have we got here? All right, I've just put the soft plastic down because there's like tiny little tuna smashing bait fish and um, something come up and ate it. I don't know what this is. It's not massive, but it's bigger than a... Oh, it's another pinky. Are you kidding? Oh, this is a beautiful snapper. I just pulled this snapper off the surface. Have a look at this. That's beautiful. Oi, 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 oi. We got him hooked. All right, ready? One, two, three. Let's go. Ooh, ah. Oh, he, he is gorgeous. <laughs> Have a look at that. That is a beautiful pink snapper. 
just smashed a soft plastic basically on the surface. I was trying to catch those little tuna, and obviously these bad boys are feeding, but that is a beautiful little snapper. He'd go about 60 centimeters. We'll chuck him on here, but he's a lovely fish. He goes 61. So snapper needed to be 50 centimeters. So he's 50, 50 uh, 10 centimeters over size. That thing is gonna go straight into the bloody esky. We're gonna have that for dinner. That is a beautiful table size snapper. Let's see if we can get one more on the jig. That was sick. Look at the sounder, it's just lit. Yeah, oh yeah, get to the bottom bait, put your, put your bait on the bottom. Oh yeah, that's good fish. Ay, 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 ay. That's a very, very good fish. Oh, it's big. Wow, go to the bottom, 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 bottom. That was a monster. You on the bottom? Yeah, just do that, baby, and hold on. You're gonna get smoked. That was a big fish. <laughs> it is crazy out here right now. All right, Mac, Mac 10's got a beautiful, oh, that's another bloody good snapper. I just got smoked by something that was an absolute dinosaur of a fish. Mac 10's getting smoked by a beautiful snapper. There's bloody fish jumping over there. There's birds diving. Yes, babe, that is a beautiful fish. Get him up, get him up here before those sharks come in the net. Come on, big boy. Oh, yeah, girl. Let some line out. That is another beautiful snapper. Yeah, girl. I just got smoked by something really big. Oh, yes, yes, you did it. I got this. That's a really good fish. That's probably oh. same size as mine, maybe a bit bigger. That is a monster. Good job, Mark 10. Oh, it's all happening. Woo! This is the funnest tinny mission ever. So there's Mac 10's fish. That's another beautiful one. This one goes, ah, this one goes 60 centimeters on the dot. So that is another beautiful fish. He's gonna be a keeper as well. You wanna keep this one? Yeah. <laughs> All right, they're two beautiful fish in the esky. I think the rest are just gonna be fun unless we get a donkey. It is a beautiful one. Let's go and find that school of fish. I wanna show you guys what the sounder looked like if we can find it. The sounder was absolutely lit up like a Christmas tree. Yes, this is so fun. All right, let's go back out there. All right, so check this out. That is a big ass school of fish right there. That's what we just come through before and it was just mayhem. I lost an absolute donkey. Jig, just keep jigging that, babe. You'll get another one. I lost an absolute horse of a fish, but that's what the sound is looking like. It is just loaded. The bottom is just full of fish. What a place. You're on. Go, go, go. You're on. <laughs> you got him? Yes, that's another snapper. Look at that. It's as easy as that. Oh, he's gone. Did you jig it again? So good. I'm getting back out there. I just lost the jig, so I'm going to put on this little pearl white weapon. Let's go. All right, up here there is a big school of little, I don't know, they look like tuna, maybe mac tuna. They're just going crazy on the surface. So I'm gonna try to get the noodle rod out and um, plug one on the noodle rod, but it's just so hard to get in front of them. Maybe, maybe, maybe now. Come on, noodle doodle. Show us what you got. Come on. Come on. Look at this. Oh, I just had a bump. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the noodle rod. Yeah, noodle rod. <laughs> oh, yes, we're on. Oh, we finally got one on the noodle rod and it is performing like it always does. Look at the bend in this bloody thing. All right, I'm gonna call it a little baby Mac tuna, but it may, it might be something different. Oh yeah, baby, look at that bend. The noodle doodle. This is gonna get sharks for sure. Up him, up him. Oh, oh no way. Oh, this is sick. Little noodle rod. Get up here, big dog. 
All right, we're getting this fish up very slowly. I can't believe it hasn't been sharked yet. Looks like a Mac tuna. That was so fun. Well, this is so fun. It's wow! Oh my goodness. If there's ever a fun way of fishing, it's like this. Look at this rod, man. Oh, he just doesn't give up, man. There he comes. Beautiful little Mac tuna. Oh, that was one hell of a fight. <laughs> so fun. Oh! <laughs> All right, there he is. The little bullet of the sea. That's got a Mac tuna. You can see it's a Mac tuna. Oi, 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 from these lines on top of it, off the top there. But super fun fish to catch on light gear. That was an absolute noodle rod destroying mission. We're going to get this little sucker back once I get those hooks out. That was super fun on the ultra light gear. Let's get him back in the water. Ah, oh, too good. There he is. See you later, Mac Tuna. Ow! This is honestly the best fun you can have with your pants on. I don't even know which rod to pick up. I've got five rods down here. I don't know if it's just a noodle rod, the jigging rod, a plastic rod. There's just so much stuff going on right now. And um, it is a bloody good time. Mac Tan lost a big fish before. So we've just rigged her up. She's, she's running a soft plastic. I'm running these new jigs and um, we're just trying to find that school of snapper again. We're going to drop on them and see how we go. But, mate, it is absolutely... There is, for some reason, there is no cloud. I mean, there is no sun. It's just full cloud cover today. So it makes it all gloomy and a little bit scary. A couple of massive sharks swimming around. Let's find those fish again. Ready, Mac Dan? Yeah, let's go for It's so fun, man. All right, let's do it. Oh, here we go. All right. I just dropped down. As soon as the jig hit the bottom, we got smoked again. Probably another snapper. That is another beautiful snapper. Look at this. All right, babe, I'm gonna get this one in and drop yours down straight away. Way, big boy. All right, have a look at that. That is one beautiful snapper. You're going back, big fella. Boom. And Mark 10's getting schooled. <laughs> Go, fella. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, that's a good fish, babe. Look at this. Very, very good fish. All right, so this is what the sounder looks like, doggies. Right now, we're just fishing these little patches of fish on the bottom. They're not as thick as before, but these are the fish on the bottom. And she's got one. This is her second ever fish. That, that snapper before was her first one on a soft plastic. This one's giving you hell. Oh my God, what a day to be alive, eh? What do you got to say about yourself? You're pretty frothed? That's a good one. Oh. They're all about the same size, hey? Oh, he engulfed that plastic. Bring him this way with him, head to the net. Yeah, girl. Put some wine out. That is another beautiful one. Well done, chica. Well, you've outdone yourself, young lady. That is a beautiful snapper, but he's gonna go back to swim another day. See you later, buddy. Look at him go, off he goes. Ah, this is too much fun. Well, you know you're having a good day when you're sick of catching snapper. Me and Mac 10 would have caught, I don't know how many snapper by now. We've got so many on the deck. So what we're gonna do is, oh, you get back here, you little bugger. What we're gonna do is we're gonna troll a lure around for a little while, see if we can pick up a big Spanish mackerel, wahoo, some sort of pelagic fish like this. The water's a little bit too cold for him, but we'll just give it a shot. A lot of birds up here diving. Let's see how we go. We're gonna get a big, big slob of a fish on the deck. So far, we're only catching little snapper. Sick day. Come on, you big dog. Here we go, there's 
a little bit of a feeding frenzy happening up here. We trialled lures around for, I don't know, how long were we doing that for? Two hours? At least. At least two hours? Like we put in a big steam trolling, trying to pick up pelagic fish. Nothing, nada. We tried every lure in the book. Couldn't find any fish, but the water's a little bit cold. Couple, couple more months or a couple more weeks even, it's gonna get really warm here. And that'll bring the fish. But, um, so what are we doing now? Mag 10 is feeling a little bit under the weather. We've been out in the boat for, what, six hours or something? So my little girl up the front here, my little co-pilot, she's feeling a little bit seasick. So we're gonna drop Mucky off. Maybe we'll process those fish in the esky because we don't have any ice out here. I'll um, rip, rip a couple of slabs, uh, really, 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 rip a couple of fillets off those fish, we'll chuck them in the fridge and then I'm gonna punch back out again. We gotta do some more exploring. All right, let's get this boat up on the beach. Boy. Yeah! All right, we've got a little bit of a cold beer happening here. We're gonna fill these fish up in the boat. That was a powerful little morning. That was super fun. So we just kept the two snapper. We would have let probably, I think, I got four or five. Mucky got three. And um, we just kept the two, one each. That's more than enough food for us. So what's gonna happen now, I'm just gonna fill the, fill the snapper in the boat. And then um, I'm gonna punch back out again and see what else we can find because I just I just can't help myself. I'm absolutely addicted to it. Mac Tan is up on the beach. She is more than happy to be back on dry land. She's um she's feeling a little bit sick there for a while. So but here is one of the beautiful snapper that we got. They're not monsters, half a meter. It's um that is those beautiful eating sized fish. So this is probably gonna make something like fish wraps or. I don't know. It's gonna be bloody good. But we still have half a day to go, so mate, anything could happen today. Quickly get these fillets on ice, or I'll chuck them in the fridge in the troopy, and then um, you're heading back out there. What a bloody magical place. The sun never came out, the wind never stopped blowing. Still, Magical day. Look at this flesh. No, it doesn't come much fresher than this. What's going on here? A little bit of an, a random alarm clock. Have a look at that. That's why we do it. Big, beautiful, juicy bit of fillet. Absolutely incredible. Oh, I'm just gonna knock the fillets off all of these fish, bag it up, and um, we're gonna head straight back out there. All right, just like that, we are done. We've got a bag full of beautiful snapper fillets. That's going to be one hell of a dinner. I'm going to quickly chuck them up there in the fridge in the troopy and um, go see if Mac 10's feeling a little bit better. You and me, we're going to punch back out there 
and see what else that big, beautiful, salty ocean has to offer. Still cloud cover. Give us a little bit of sun, brah. Where is she? Where is she? How are you feeling? Good. I'm making footage. What is going on here? That the thing is not. What is that? Porridge? Yeah. <laughs> Got fresh fish here and you're making bloody porridge? Mango? You got it all going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to chuck this fish in the um, fridge. I'm going to keep punching. Yeah. Look at this joint. How good is this, eh? Let's go. Let's go, a little bit of a solo session. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it again. Here's a different jig, a little bit of a wider circumference, so it flutters down really nice. Here we go. Flutter, 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 boom. Bottom. Whack, whack. Oh, what the hell? All right, it is a whole lot windier right now. We're back out here, I'm just on the inside. I just got, I literally just put the jig down and it just got smoked. So I'm trying a different jig, something that, something that flutters a little bit slower on the descent. So we'll see how this jig goes. But um, all in all, oh, there we go. Oh, what is this? There we go, doggies. That's first drop since I went back. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's going high. What do we got here? What is this? It's going really high. Oh. What the hell? Oh, it's going under the boat. Stay away from that engine. It's like a tuna or a mackerel or what is this? Oh, you're kidding me. Little shark mackerel. How the hell did I hook this? Little shark, Mackie. Have a look at this. Come on, mate. Ay, 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 ay. Come this way. Oh. Ah! Gone. Just like that. You're joking. That was a little shark mackerel, wasn't it? It was actually about a meter, a little bit longer than a meter. Those things have got teeth like razor blades. No wonder why I didn't land it. If I wasn't falafeling, falafeling around down there, I would have got it in, but a little bit hard by yourself. Anyway, that's good fun. Let's do that again. Oh, well, I just went out as wide as we were fishing before, and um, no way am I going out there. It is Super sketchy once you go past that headland. It's real windy. It's currents and tides are just doing some funky stuff out there. So there's no way I'm going out there in that, this little boat. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hug the shore and see if we can find any kind of fun things to catch or look at or swim with or whatever. And I'm trying to hide from the wind. So what we're doing is I'm gonna come right up against the shore here and just putt the whole way back to the car, which is way down there because that wind is absolutely howling and in here is nice and calm, but out the back there it is super rough. So we'll use this as a little bit of protection to get back, but also we'll keep our eyes out for like Trevally GTs, all those kinds of sick fish to catch. I've seen some big splashes over here before, I think they were dolphins, but we'll just go for a little bit of a cruise, have a burn. Pretty much just see where this afternoon takes us. Look at it. It's magic in here. It's beautiful. Have a go.
Oh yeah. That ain't going. That ain't going nowhere. All right, we've just come in from our little second session and um, that was hard going. I'm gonna tell you that for free. We got one big shark mackerel, which we lost to the boat. I lost something else big. I went out wide and it was just way too windy and scary and gnarly. So I come back in and um, it is time for a feed. It is 5.54 in the afternoon. All we've eaten today is a handful of oysters and a couple of coffees. So um, it's fair to say, it's safe to say that I'm pretty bloody hungry right now. But what I want to show you guys are these little dynamite sticks here. Have a look at this. So these are the jigs that we were using this morning and um, I've been designing and making these for probably the last six to eight months. And these are gonna be available on the online shop very, very bloody soon. You guys seen them work this morning. They are dynamite. This little one here, it's called the booze hag and it's called a booze hag for a reason. The action in the water, it, we finally got the angles of the angles of the jig where it just absolutely dances like a booze hag in the water so that's the jig i was using this morning and they work very very bloody good so keep keep an eye out for them on the online shop and if you guys haven't been there yet grab your hat grab a long sleeve sh shirt grab a t-shirt grab a jumper grab what you want fieldayshop.com jump over there grab yourself a little bit of merch and um look it is time to go cook up that beautiful snapper that we caught today because i'm starving and um we've got some beautiful beautiful fresh fillets in the fridge right now so Without further ado, let's go make a little bit of a feed. Look at this. All right, doggies, welcome to the field day kitchen. Wrap your eyes around that. That is a little chopping board full of the freshest snapper. So this is either one that Mucky got or I got this morning. Beautiful. So what we're doing in this little outback kitchen here, we're just gonna make something super simple but super delicious. I am absolutely bloody starving. Like I said, all we've had is oysters and coffee all day. So what I'm gonna do is just chuck those beautiful little bits of cut up snapper into this sandwich bag, which is full of salt, pepper, herbs, chili, garlic. It's just a random little mix that we make and um, it's gonna be bloody beautiful. Well, this definitely is not a new way of cooking fish. I think every man and his dog has done this before, but there you go, you get a beautiful little flavored bombs. It's gonna go straight into that boiling oil down there. Oh, look at this. Probably the most simple, easy, effective, and tasty way to cook fish if you're hungry like I am right now. Oh, smell that. All right, so while that fish bubbles around down there, I'm gonna, oh, check this out, bruh. Like, this is epic, check this out. Look at these sharks. One, two, look at all those sharks there. That's because I cleaned my esky, I cleaned the esky like 10 minutes ago, and then look at this shark here. Big dog's gonna come and chew me ankles off. Look at this. One, two, three. One, there's one, two, three out the back. What's that, a stingray or a shark? Something's there. Gnarly. Look at him, he's a big dog over there. Standing here in knee deep water. I can bring it on, boys. Anyway, let's get back to cooking. So what I was going to say is that we got a, we got the pop top conversion done on the Troopy and um, holy moly, it is a game changer. Have a look at that thing there. So we've got the roof cut off. Um, we've got a Alley Cab conversion put on and it is so bloody good. Have a look at it. Absolute game changer. All right. Let's go inside. You guys probably haven't seen this either. We also got a drawer system made. Boys at Pro, Pro, Pro Camp Solutions absolutely nailed this setup. But I'm going to give you guys a run through of the car once it's all done because it's actually not finished yet. But these are our morning views. This is our bed. Oh, it's just it's just absolutely bloody incredible. But what we're doing here is we need to find something to make dinner. Well, to be completely honest with you, I think that our, um, I think that we're going to be quite limited in what we eat right now. 
Although this fridge looks kind of full. All right, we'll take that. Take that. Mm, maybe it's just gonna be fish wraps. A little bit of hummus. A little bit of um, Indonesian spice. Oh, we'll take that. Oh, that'll do. Fish wraps it is. All right, so this is the key to making a fish wrap in the bush. That stuff there, it is like this spicy ass stuff from Indonesia. And it is, um, when I say spicy, I mean it is super spicy. But I helped miss the food from Indo, so I'll just slap that on everything I eat now. We're just gonna lay the fish in there. What are we doing now? A little bit of this stuff. This is just a real quick bloody bush feed because I'm starving. How many times have I said starving in this video? Bang, bang, bang. And that is me done. That's a wrap. There we go. A fresh snapper wrap. What a bloody good day. Yep, that felt good. No oh, shark, those oh, sharks are still there. Should we try to catch one? That would be fun, eh? Look at that. Sitting at the back of the boat. Tell you what, mate, I'll be going back for seconds and maybe even thirds. It's that good. Well, that is it for me, doggies. I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I'm going to go make another two or three wraps. And um, that was a bloody good day. The little tinny got a flogging, which is now surrounded by sharks. We've got a couple of fish in the fridge and um, life's good, man. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next adventure. If you guys want to grab any of your merch, Make sure you go to fieldayshop.com, hats, jumpers, hoodies, whatever. Those lures are going to be available very, very soon. And um, that's it from me, doggies. Much love and thank you for watching. Ow!